Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today we have here is an M16 gun carriage. This is in 143rd scale. It's by Atlas and it's in full diecast with some plastic accessories, obviously. So this was an American self-propelled sort of anti-aircraft weapon that entered service during World War II. It was based on the M3 half-track with a uh, quad mount turret that uh, equipped four uh, 50 cal machine guns, rounding machine guns on there. And uh, it was a very, very effective anti-aircraft uh, weapon. And was actually also yeah, very effective against soft, like infantry targets and softer vehicle targets as well. But uh, what we'll do is we'll get this out of the packet. So yeah, this is out of the box. Um, it does have a really, really good quality um, acrylic clear display case on it so if you do just want to you know whack it on the shelf just like this it will be kept relatively dust free and uh it is very not very clear it is you know really good quality these these cases actually are and um it's held together by those you know lovely screws as well so <laughs> but uh, what we'll do is we'll take this uh acrylic case off so you can get a good look at the actual vehicle itself and um these were actually produced during 1942 to around 1944 with around 2,877 um, made, um, making use of the uh, M3 chassis. So um, these these stayed in service until around 1953, I think it was. Though they, they also saw combat in um, Korea, but uh, their effectiveness was a little little um, outdated by that stage, as uh, the aircraft were a lot quicker. They were getting into the jet aircraft, so it was. I suppose more more of as you know sort of infantry suppressing unit back in Korea, as opposed to uh, during World War Two when these were quite capable at shooting down uh, piston engined aircraft, as well as being used against infantry and soft targets as well in World War Two. But I think overall, if you have a look at those details, it uh, it's got some nice uh, you know stowage on there. It's uh, the details itself. It's you, know, you can see all the river details. We'll have a look inside. It's got some nice seat details. It's got some extra um, ammo cases and everything in there for the 50 cals. Uh, let's see if this does. Don't don't think that moves. It it feels stiff. I don't want to break it. So I'll, I'll just say it's in a fixed position. Um, if it, if it does move, I'm happy to be corrected. But I will, I don't want to risk breaking this. And as I said, this is 143rd scale, so it is reasonably large. We'll um, do a little sausage finger test, and as you can see, it sits, it does present well in the hands. It is not tiny. I mean, it is an armoured personnel carrier with the uh, special turret in the back. But I, I think overall, it does does present really nicely. I think it's really well made. And this was uh, sort of around the uh, $30 mark again. And uh, these are relatively... Uh, you know, cheap, I suppose you could say, and and the quality is really, really nice. I, I think it's, uh, I reckon it's pretty good value for money, these uh, 143rd scale uh, military vehicles that I have been uh, checking out, and uh, I, I think the, the quality is pretty good, and, and especially for the prices that you can sort of get these at. Um, yeah, no, I reckon it's pretty pretty cool unit, and uh, yeah, and as I say, if you are collecting a 143rd scale uh collection this is another great little unit to grab so yeah all right once again i will uh, wind this up so i'll take some photos of this thing and chuck it on at the conclusion of the video so this is in 143rd scale diecast it's made by atlas so once again this is the m16 gun carriage which was an american self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle and um i think it's yeah pretty cool I don't, I don't mind it at all so if you did find this uh, video helpful at all you know throw us a like that'd be awesome and if you haven't done so already uh, subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with other videos we'll be chucking out all right guys thank you so much for watching and i really appreciate it and you guys take care of yourselves and have a great rest of your day cheers guys